Hello and welcome. In this session we are going to create an image grid. At the moment on our site we have an upcoming training courses. This is a, a page view and these images are what's called a medium style and that is, that is the style we use. Let's have a look that is in under configuration and uh, media image styles under image styles these are the three image styles at the moment large medium and thumbnail and there is another one called that is the original image as well so there's a three different styles at the moment we are using the medium styles in the future we can create our own style let's go back to these um, training courses this is an unformatted uh, list of course view you can also create a grid view of these training courses. Let us do that. What is a grid view look like? Let's have a look. Here is an example. This is a module called Views Fluid Grid. At the moment it is still not ready for Drupal 8. This is how it looked, the view grid. You can have all these fancy things that is created by the, the module. Another module called uh, Views Photo Grid. It is also not ready for Drupal 8 as yet. It will be ready for Drupal 8 maybe in about a few months time. This is what it looked like. Random images in different sizes. So that is that is what an image grid looked like. As a general rule it is better to avoid uh, using too many external modules and as for our site design it is better to make use of existing code that comes with uh, Drupal 8 to do what we want. That means uh, I would say it's better to have what's called a keep it simple principle. So let us create a grid view for our training courses. For that let's go to structure. This is the structure. Open a new. Structure views. These are the current views at the moment. This is our training course. We create a new view. Let us give a name. Let's call this a training grid view and it is a setting is content of type there are various types. We are, we are interested in the course and uh, we create a page. Yes, that's the name. That's right. And unformatted list. No, we are going to create a grid. Grid of uh, fields. We are going to create, choose certain fields we want. Items to display, let's say uh, 20. No, we don't need a page. Huh? We are not creating any blocks. Save and edit. So let's look at the preview. That is what uh, preview look like. By default it brings out all the, the titles in a grid format. Now we want to add, uh, obviously we want to add some images for these courses. So image and title will do for our grid. So let's change this. So display name change to some useful name, something we can remember. Training grid view apply. Alright, so it is uh, format is grid and showing the field. Yes, that's right. And the fields are title. We are going to add image only for this particular page. So look for image. We found course image. That's what we want. Select that. Apply to this display. And the, we have more uh, refinement. We don't want to create a label. Not at the moment. Uh, format is image. Yes original style. The style we want is uh, we want a um, later on we can create our own style. At the moment we choose medium. Link link the image maybe to content. Yes, that's right. And we are not doing any more settings. Apply this. Let's have a look how it looks. There we go. So there's a title and the image and it is in a grid format. Alright, so we need more changes. We want this title to go down, right? Title and course. We can rearrange to go the image to go to the top. Click on that. Rearrange. Just a matter of dragging that up. And also this page display override. Apply. Have a look. Yes, there is the image at the top and the title. What else we need to do? So at the moment we have one, two, three, four. No, we don't want four. We want only one, two, three, three is better. So where do we do that? We go to format, grid, settings. We want a uh, number of columns to three. Horizontal, that's fine. We are not doing in CSS at the moment. We just say apply. See how it looks. One, two, three. That's the preview. So save the page. And if we go to training grid view, you should be able to see it. Let's go to uh, localhost Drupal training grid view that's right 
enter so that's it this is the training grid view we created a grid view for our training this is a responsive theme if you move around the window the image just resets itself so that is that, that's a good thing about responsive uh, templates so this is how the grid is created so important thing to remember is whenever you can keep it simple thanks for watching